Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we got a 2012 Ram uh, inconsistent headlight going in and out. We'll see if we can get the light there. Come on now. I've been having issues. It's really touchy. All of a sudden it'll just go out high beam and low beam. It's, it's, it's not, uh, not the headlight at all. It's gotta be in the wiring there. Uh, I did have read there is some wire connection issues. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna get to the bottom of that because we don't need that light just coming on and off, get pulled over. Don't need this, so let's get started here. Gotta get out. Okay, we got one bolt. Let's see if we can get a good shot there. Right. Right down in there. Okay, back down in here, we gotta get that little plastic clip there. We gotta push that up. Okay, here's your plug for the actual headlight and your park light. There's this little guy down there. And we'll see what we got going on here. It appears like that center one there has got a little bit of a burn mark on it. Okay, we're gonna do a test run on this to see if that's exactly where it's coming from. Okay, so I got the little lights on there. <clears throat> now I'm gonna wiggle individual wires on this. Out right there I don't know if you can see it on the video but the light kind of dims it's gonna be hard to see but I'm taking these two wires it must be right in this assembly here and I'm pulling on them just a little bit and that's must be given enough voltage drop right there I don't know if you can see the, the the difference in the light, but definitely I can see the difference. So there is something quite wrong with them connections right there. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna bend these just a tad. Because obviously the spring pressure on the tabs in here, on this plug here, is not enough. We'll see if we can get it back. Now I got, have nothing now. 
it's staying on full full power it looks like I'm not saying this is the exact way to fix it but I'm gonna try it out and see if it works or not I guess worst case you'd have to splice it or put a whole new end on here and from what I've read there is issues with this but I can't get it to do what I was doing again by just just fixing that so I'm gonna call it good for now we'll see how it works down the road if I continue to have issues with it or not but like I said it'll the headlight will go out with the high and low beam so you won't have anything on this side at all guy could spray some electrical contact cleaner in there but uh I'm assuming that when these get a little bit warm, if they're not making good enough connection, it's losing that spring tension to clamp over that uh, that pin. And that's where the problem is gonna lay. Either that or there's a bad connection in here, but being as I bent these down and they push a little bit more pressure on those, uh, it looks like it's gonna work. Well, anyway, we'll get this put back in and be on the road again. Thanks for watching.